Here I have counter energy and let me show you how to go through the initializing setup process on the following phone, so simply how to activate your device. At the very beginning let's start from the welcome panel, here you have full list of available languages that you can use on this device, so in my case let me choose English for instance from United States. You can also choose emergency right here to make some emergency calls if you need, if not let's go back and simply use this yellow arrow to go next. You can insert SIM card, but you can also activate your device without a SIM card, so let me do it that way, let's tap skip. Here you can connect your device to a Wi-Fi, it's not necessary, but I usually recommend this step, because you can do more with your Wi-Fi connection, so let's choose your Wi-Fi and connect your device. Let's input the password if you have one. The device is checking connection. And you can copy your Google accounts, apps and data from one of your other devices or you can just tap no thanks and have a fresh start. So let me do it that way, let's choose no thanks, tap next. And at this point of the process you can add your Google account to your device. It's not necessary, you can skip this point, you can also create a new Google account by using that link. But in my case let me connect to my old Google account. So let's input uh, email to your Google account. Tap next. Let's enter a password. So let me do it. Choose next one more time. Let's accept terms of services. The phone is checking info. You can change some settings of Google services. For example, you can enable or disable automatically backup device data, use Google's, lo Google's location services, improve location accuracy, and help improve your Android experience. So let me leave all of these features enabled and tap next. The device is asking you to set up payment information. You don't have to do it, you can bypass this step by choosing no thanks and by tapping continue. You can also set up another email or just use your Gmail. So in my case let me tap not now to add another email. And now you can protect your device by using some screen lock, so let me tap next. And now you have to decide either you would like to use pattern, pin or password. So in my case let me choose pattern. Let's draw your unlock pattern. Tap continue, let's draw it again just for confirmation. You have to choose your form of notification. You can select show all notification content, hide sensitive notification content or just simply don't show notifications at all. So let me choose the first one and tap next. You can also restore some data from one of your older devices. Here you should have the full list of your older devices that you can use. If you would like to have a fresh start and set up your phone as a new, choose Don't Restore. Tap Go to the Welcome panel and that's it. As you can see, now you can use your device. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.